it's me, Danielle, Danny Buttons, and if you're watching this the day this video is posted, it's my birthday! That was my attempt at a Rapunzel voice. But, yeah, today, November 4th, is my birthday, and hopefully, while this is out, I am in a aquarium right now, looking at some fish, because I love fish. So, that is part of my birthday plan. I'm going to the American Dream Mall in East Rutherford, New Jersey to check it out, see the sights, see some fish, and yeah. Uh, today is my monthly Disney page. I figured it was appropriate to do on my birthday because the November theme I tried to follow for Disney coloring is princesses. So of course, since it's my birthday, I am today's princess and I must color a princess. And I'm coloring out of Disney's Trompe L'Oeil Tomb One. Uh, I'll have this linked down below from Lorica, which is the website I will now be using for all my French purchasing. And this book is called, I'm pretty sure this translates to Optical Illusions. That's what I've been calling it. And basically, if you can see the examples on the cover, it, when you're starting, it looks like you're color coloring Tinkerbell, and when you're done, it turns into Alice. So today, we're coloring page four, and can you tell? It looks like it's Rapunzel, but it is not. It is somebody else. So I'm actually probably gonna go speed color for the black lines and then come back to color everything in and to chat with you, but see when you can guess who it is. Maybe you can already see on camera. I bet you can't. I can in person. And also I know, so that makes it much easier, but like the eyes are over here, if that helps at all or if you just know me and know who my favorite princesses is princesses are you can probably guess from that so there we go i'm gonna go into the speed color right away and then i'll be back after i picked all my colors so we can do the page I'm back. So, first of all, I don't know if you noticed, mid-video my nails changed, mid-speed um, color. This is actually the next day, so, <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry about that, but look how cute they are. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry that this is a weird tangent, but I glued on these little like polymer clay slices. Hopefully you can see, and it's fruit themed. I thought it was cute. I love fruit themed things, especially citrus. So there's three citrus ones. My nail glue turned white. So like, if you can see under it, it like looks not the best. And this one, he cracked in half. Can you see that? I hope so. I'm just holding my hands randomly up. So that happened there, so. At least for this video, we'll have them. How quickly did you know it was Ariel? I feel like I did the eyes first and then that's when I stopped and I was like, oh, you can definitely already tell. So it was almost like a little spoiler, but it's perfect because Ariel and Rapunzel are my two favorite princesses and it's both of them. So that worked out very nicely. Then what else happened? All right, so I picked my colors. Again, I use the Tombow Dual Tip water-based marker. It's got a brush tip on one side, a bullet on the other. I outline everything and then I go back with my brush to fill it in. I always keep this near me because it's about a 50-50 shot that I missed something. Um, so people ask which books to start with. So overall, volume one and two of the Optical Illusion series, the picture, the final picture is a little bit simpler. As you can see, there's not too, too many colors. What is this, 10? 13 colors on this one, 12 on that one. Like they're all about that, like under 15 colors. So overall it's not too hard, but you do have the added difficulty of the original lines. And that can sometimes be a little bit confusing. I personally just flip back and forth to the answers whenever I'm confused. So I don't know if you are 
I don't know. I would say if you are new to these books in general, I would start off with volume one, two, or three of the Grand Classiques and see how you do with that, how your eyeballs adjust to that, and then branch out. But again, I'm pretty sure I have flips of almost all of the French books on my channel. I think I have a playlist that I will try to add this to in case you are looking for other books. And again, this will be linked down below from the new Larika site that I found that you can, there's no, it's free shipping and it's magical. So they're about like four to six dollars more expensive, but then shipping is free. Makes it so worth it. I have a code down. If you would like 10% off, I also get 10%. Don't have to use it though. Like just clicking the link is not associated with me, if that makes any sense. All right, so I picked out all of my colors except the skin tones because I thought it might be nice to do that together. I'm very likely going to have to use the Colors of the World by Crayola for the skin tones, and we'll see how that goes. But I picked out everything else, and I used the Statler dual-ended, oh, I just threw that lid, that was impressive. Hold on, hold on, dual-ended, so one is like a super tip style tip, and the other is a teeny tiny fine liner tip, and that's what we do here. All right. Hold on. Oh no. Sad face, sorry, I got a message, and it's from Emily, so blame her. Filming, BRB. <sighs> yes, so here we go. I am probably gonna do the background first because I very frequently do the background first. So, yes. How do we do this? I guess up top. I try to keep my colors in number order for the most part. So I know what's going on and I don't, I'm also definitely gonna start down here. I don't put any color away until I'm done with the whole page because again, it's common to accidentally miss an area, especially when everything is so detailed, so. Yes, so for how I color, I'm so sorry if this is like the fifth video of this type that you see, but I get a lot of newbies on these videos and I always want everything to be accessible to everybody. I will kind of outline the area that I need to color and then I fill it in in a stripey motion because since these are water-based, they're very prone to streaking and you really can't get around that because obviously a alcohol base would bleed right through and these are double-sided books. So my solution is to just go up and down as evenly as possible. And then that way, even though it streaks, it's at least streaking in a nice uniform pattern. So that's my method. But yeah, I was really excited for these nails. And also I'm a dummy because it's totally like hair washing day and I'm expecting them all to pop off in the shower after this video, so I figured I would film this first and have at least one video with the nice fruit nails on record. But yeah, now today's the third, which means tomorrow's my birthday and I'm so excited. I never know, like, should I talk about all my plans right now before they happen or should I talk about them after they happen? Mm hmm, it's hard. It could go either way. Um. I also, sorry, this is unrelated. I'm kind of jumping all over today. My last page last month was Ursula. So I thought that was pretty funny that I did Ursula and now Ariel, but that's basically one of my ultimate faves. So it makes sense. It makes sense to me. And I don't know if you can hear it. So my friend Toll gave me this little guy and it's a like solar wobbler. Can you see him wobbling? But I just, it's so cute and it's um, a pineapple. And I put it to show Sam, I like put it on top of my lamp while he was working so he could see it. And it wobbles up there. I guess my room lights are enough. So I kind of love it and I just keep him there. But you might be able to hear him from wobbling. It almost sounds like a ticking clock. So if that ends up picking up on the video then I might move him in the future, but for now, he's super cute. So let me know if you can hear him doing his wobble thing. I feel like I'm focusing so hard unnecessarily. 
Yes, so for me in these books, the most important part is the character themselves, especially like skin tone, um, anything that's super defining. So for Ariel, we're gonna try to match her hair the best we can, but background doesn't really matter too, too much. Um, there's three shades of blue in this one, and I just try to make sure one is darker and one is lighter. I don't necessarily worry about getting it exact. So, because I know a lot of people are always worried that they don't have enough colors to match. So I, if you're just starting out, I think you're good with like the super tips, either the 50 or 100 set. And if you can find the colors of the world, this has definitely been like a lifesaver with skin tone matching. Not even, well, definitely because there are so many skin tones, but also they're really good at different shades. So you can go like medium, light, medium, light, very light. And that helps with the shadowing to have two exact shades that match. Because I feel like a lot of times um, it's easy to find like one peach shade, but it's not easy to find two peach shades. You know what I'm saying? So if you can get to those colors of the world, I recommend it for these books. They're not very fine liners, but it's okay. Stripey, stripey. Or another recommendation is sometimes I do, or in the past when I was new, I would do, um, help, what is the words? Sheesh. Oh, color pencils for the skin tone because it's easier to match. But it eats through color, like these are big pages. So I don't personally love to use my color pencils for the whole thing because it just will eat through it really quickly. But for skin tones, I just would pick up one or two extra colors. So, you know. I gotta have something else to say. I'm gonna talk about my pumpkin weekend, so Halloween weekend, and then I will save my birthday till after my birthday. And actually, after this, I'm like working on a delay at this point. After this video, my next one should be a color and chat about my time in Chicago with Emily. So look out for that if you wanna hear more about what we did out there. It was so fun and I'm so sad to be home. <laughs> like, I'm just ready to plan our next trip. But I think it's gonna be a while because we're far away from each other, so it's sad. But yeah, all right, so this weekend though was Halloween and on Saturday I went to my friend Lydia's house and we had our third annual pumpkin carving day. And we actually went to a like local patch to her. And what was fun is this year noodles came with us. So, um, we messaged them and we're like, is it okay if dog if a dog comes with us? And the lady was like, please, absolutely. We love dogs, yeah, bring the dog. So we brought the dog and it was kind of crazy because we went on the 30th and it was empty. There was nobody there. And I assumed it would be packed because obviously day before Halloween, but I guess a lot of people do. They're carving a lot earlier or they're patching a lot earlier. So I don't know, but it was absolutely empty. Like they did a hayride just for us and Noodles got to go on the hayride and it was so cute. She was a little bit nervous, but she did okay. Cause at first she's like, whoa, 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 we're in a car, but we're moving and we're outside. Um, but she definitely had fun and she like stood on the benches and looked over the edge and it was cute. But then she used the restroom in the patch <laughs> And we were not prepared. And luckily my friend had a like Ziploc bag in her pocket and gave that to us. But then it was funny because Sam was like, I don't really want to carry this. What do I do? So he asked the guy that was running the, oh, Noodles barking. She's like, don't expose me. I'm exposing you, Noodles. Too bad. She asked the guy, or Sam asked the guy who was running the... Hey ride. He's like, help, what do I do? And the guy's like, well, if you don't mind, you can walk to the forest and throw it. So Sam walked to the forest and chucked it. So that was pretty funny. But when you gotta go, you gotta go. 
And again, it's basically like the end of the patch. So they weren't upset, thankfully. They were very excited to see her. And I also dressed her in her little uh, jack-o'-lantern costume. So when we got back, there was other people waiting for the hayride. And they're like, I want that pumpkin and pointed to noodles. It was very cute. It was a cute time. So, and then we carved our pumpkins. I was sad. I really, really wanted to do the photo shoot that's been going around where you put the pumpkin on your head and take pictures. And I was going to get um, Sam to do it with me. But then, unfortunately, they didn't have any large pumpkins or pumpkins that big. And I don't know if it was because it's so late in the season or, like, the hayride was $10. And you actually, like, got a pumpkin with the hayride price, which that's a really great deal for a pumpkin around here. But, so, I mean, I, that's very likely why they didn't have super giant pumpkins. So, it made sense, but I was very sad. So, hopefully next year we can do that photo shoot so instead i just um carved a ghost i'm a very very slow pumpkin carver because sometimes i'll do like elaborate stuff but or sometimes like i know lydia really this is only i'm pretty sure that this is her third year ever like i don't think she did it growing up so that's what was so exciting about it so she likes to use the uh, booklets that have the patterns in there and I do that a lot too but um, I was like meh this year I didn't want to do something too intense so I made like this cute ghosty because I've been obsessed with ghosts so that's what I carved Sam I don't even know what he carved he doesn't even know what he carved he just wung it <laughs> winged it I never know and he thinks it's a witch so We're doing good. I have to see how we're doing time-wise. Also, my monopod has been annoying. It keeps like tilting over. So hopefully that doesn't happen for multiple reasons. I think we're doing good on time too. I was worried I'd have to do another time lapse, but we should be all good. Well, that's all blue too. Interesting. Her seashells are a little bit blue too, which I'm surprised. But yes, we did that. And then we were gonna watch movies because the past two years we've also watched movies on Pumpkin Day because again, Lydia didn't really do Halloween growing up that much. So like she hasn't seen some of my versions of classics, which are just like Beetlejuice. I mean, I've since made her watch Beetlejuice, but for a long time she hadn't seen Beetlejuice. And I'm like, but you're Lydia and Lydia's in Beetlejuice. So I definitely made her watch that in the past. And we watched Hocus Pocus one year and we watched Halloween Town one year and we were gonna watch The Witches by Roald Dahl. But instead we played Mysterium. I don't like that this is blue instead of purple. So I've definitely made a mistake somewhere, but it's all right. It's all right, it's gonna look close enough. We play Mysterium and Mysterium is a board game that like one person is the ghost and then trying to tell the other people how they, like who killed them but without actually talking and instead just like showing different cards. So it's hard to explain but it's a fun game and it felt appropriate because it's ghosts. So I love being the ghost. <laughs> Which is weird because it's a long time of no talking, but I love it. So I was the ghost and we crushed it. Uh oh, uh oh. An, ang an angry Sam. An angry Sam? <laughs> Sam, did you catch that? Yeah. I met an angry noodles. Maybe getting more packages today. I ordered all my Christmas presents. I'm basically done, I think. And I just let them roll in slow. I just did whatever, like, oh, get a free dollar from Amazon or whatever. I was like, all right, sure. 
since obviously we still have time for Christmas. <laughs> Voila, that should be all of our blue. Okay, so four, five. So for five, um, another reason I personally like to look at the answers, there's actually a lot, not a lot, a white area on her tail. And I would just have colored right over this. I almost outlined it in black, but I caught it before that, or almost, you can see the tiny bit that I outlined. So I always do any white areas first so that I don't forget. Hopefully. That's nine, okay. And then five on this side. So, zoop. Not sure why she has a lighter booty, but all right. We'll roll with it. So that is what we did on Saturday. Then Sunday on actual Halloween, it was also football Sunday. So we mostly just sat and watched football. And actually we finished all of the baking shows. Ugh, we still have to watch the finale of Halloween Baking Championship, Samuel. Okay. And Christmas Baking Championship already started. We're behind. But we finished like five episodes of Halloween Wars on mm -hmm. Sunday and watch football and luckily we didn't really get too many kids. I don't know, I'm so, I have mixed thoughts. I'm really sad there are not more trick-or-treaters in general because I just feel like it's not as popular anymore. And that makes me sad because that was like an important part of my childhood. But I'm happy that we particularly didn't get any because Noodles screams every time the doorbell rings. So we kind of think that Noodles screaming deterred the kids from coming to our house, which totally makes sense. Because she's a loud one, but it was a little bit sad. I don't know. And now we have a bunch of candy left. So every time when one of us takes noodles to go to the bathroom, the other one's like, trick or treat. And then we bring up a little candy bar. So that's nice. I, in fact, just had a Kit Kat a few minutes ago. This is a weird color choice, but all right. Hmm. Huh. And then I think we're up to the face also if you can see at the bottom to me seven and a look basically the same so i just am using the same marker for both i think it's her lips is a so but just a fun fact that you can do that if you so choose That's that, and then A. Beautiful, and then what else we got? Her eyeballs are three and C. So this is C. Beautimus. What else is going on? Why am I only getting hundreds of messages right now? Well, that was a um, notification from an app. That wasn't, was it? No, it was. <laughs> the same app, it was Patreon. So they like message me through the app and then also email me and I'm like, calm down. But, all right, that's A. I honestly might end up making this eight also, but we'll see. Let's do a seven, which is her hair. Um, I think it's a swoop. And then back here, swoop. Be 
beautiful. Nailed it. Oh, that's not very neat. That's all right. Again, I mostly try as best I can to be even. It's a little bit harder on this curve, but we're gonna give it a go. So for me going over the lines, um, basically the darker colors usually don't pick up the black, so I don't really worry about it. Sometimes the lighter colors will. I usually, again, don't really worry about it. I worry about it more for keeping my marker clean than keeping the page clean, because it's usually not a huge mess, but obviously it's water-based over water-based, so. Beautiful. <sighs> I'm tired. I was gonna say it's early, but it's almost noon, so it's not early anymore. <laughs> I cannot use that excuse all day. But we're, we go to bed late, get up late, so. See, I don't know, that's the color they want, but I would rather do the bright red. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, sorry orange, as I know from me. Oops, let's come back down. And that's what I'm saying again, like, don't feel stuck in these colors. If I was paying better attention, I would have done brighter purple for her shells, but I was not, so. Woo. I love it. I haven't watched Little Mermaid in a long time. I haven't been doing good at watching any movies this year. First of all, I haven't even watched, I think I'm like three or four Disney movies behind, if you can believe it. I cannot believe it. I haven't seen Raya. I haven't seen Luca. Hello? What? I'm shocked. Um, hopefully, we are going to try to go to theaters for Encanto because that comes out November 24th and our wedding anniversary is December 2nd. So our plan is for our anniversary to go to the movies for the first time in two years. <laughs> So we'll see how things are going when we get closer. But I just love watching them for the first time in movies. I just think that movie theaters make everything feel more magical. And it also helps me focus because when I'm in the movie theater, I'm actually only watching the movie. And anywhere else, I'm doing tons of things. So because like I watched Soul at home and I didn't like it as much as I think I would have if I saw it in movies first. So who knows, but I really desperately want to watch Luca soon because I think it's going to be my favorite. So all that to say, that's why I haven't watched Little Mermaid recently either because I haven't been watching anything. And it's funny because usually, but like if I know I have a Disney trip coming, I try to rewatch like all of the movies and I was doing that for this whole year and I didn't get very far. So... We'll see, there's still time. I mostly just wanna watch the new ones before we go so I don't look like a poser in case I see anything. And also the new movies are already popping up in the French books, which is pretty awesome. So I know there's some Luca pages in the third volume of the Optical Illusions and there's tons of like onward pages in Fantasy Creatures, which obviously I saw that. And I think there's Raya pages in the new one too. So that's pretty cool, they're on top of their game. But I'm not. Okay, here we go. So she is done. I think we got everything that's not skin. So now we're going to take out our colors of the world. And maybe we are. <laughs> I never know which side. So it comes in three sleeves in here. So I just did rose, golden, and almond. I think she's not going to be... Almond. She could be golden, but she's probably going to be rose. So I'm going to put almond away for now. There's actually um, a, the color pencils. There's even more colors because I think they also have hair colors. So they have like a red and eye colors, red, green, blue, that kind of fun stuff. 
but in the markers, I think the 24 set is the biggest. So I'm gonna try golden first, because why not? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Let's start with medium deep. So what I do is I just color against here, but if you need a bigger area, do I have a white? I have so many um, post-it notes, but they're all colorful. So I don't have like white paper. Let's find some white paper. Hold on. All right, this is a previously used one. So if I think I need more space, I will just take like another piece. Yeah, that is not it. She's gonna be, she's gonna be Rose. Because sometimes doing the teeny tiny swatch doesn't give you enough of a picture of what's going on. So. That is medium deep. I also like to keep my chart next to me because then they tell you. So light medium would be the next one. Are you light medium? That's light. Are you light medium? Yes. So hopefully. So again, it's hard to see, but these are one shade apart from each other, which should be what we need. We'll find out together, but that's what we're gonna go with. So medium deep and light medium. Please excuse me and sit over there. Great. So I'm gonna do her arm first, just in case everything is terrible. So medium deep and light medium. Medium deep is nine. These markers, you kind of have to try not to get on the black. They will bleed compared like more than our other ones. So you just gotta be careful. And again, I don't really care too much. Medium deep. And light medium. And then if you end up getting black on your marker, you just kind of squiggle it off somewhere else. Hmm, those are pretty close together, but I still might go for it because when it's too close, sometimes I'll just go over one of them twice. So I might just go over the medium deep a second time to darken it a teeny bit. And hopefully I'm in screen. Yes. Any more? And obviously these have a pretty thick tip, so just be careful. Most of the time the skin tone is the biggest area anyway, so it's not usually a big deal. But just putting it out there. I think her whole face is this color. Let's do... So I, when I'm doing this, I try to go along the black line first and tr be careful, and then I will come back and do everywhere else to minimize our bleeding. But as you just saw, sometimes it doesn't work out for me. <laughs> it's just impatience. I'm very impatient. Uh-oh. Pam just went on a work call, so hopefully we're good. And he's just saying hello. We're not good, be right back. Okay, sorry, Sam. <laughs> Had to hop on a call and started talking. So hopefully we'll be able to finish before he's done. Also, did I just switch colors? Oh, oh no. She's gonna have a stripe of a different color. That's awkward. No, I'm so sad. I never pay attention. Ah. All right, well, it's okay. She still looks good. We'll see how that dries, but. Yeah, so I really like these markers for skin tone especially, but like you are seeing, they definitely bleed more than the Statlers do. They're very juicy, so I'm being not careful at all, and I'm getting speckles all over her face. I think if I had done this at the beginning of the page instead of the end, I would be being more careful, but you know me. Once we get to the end, I'm like ready to be done, so... I'm sorry, Ariel. Also, I'm like really worried to not finish by the time Sam is needing to talk again. Luckily, he doesn't say anything like C 
secretive on his calls. So if he accidentally has to say something, it'll more be like on Thursday than like company information. So that's good. Voila, she is done. I think it came out pretty good. I like it. It's a fun time. Yay. All right. So this is actually my first finished page of the month, I think. So that's pretty cool. And I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it will be linked down below from Larika. That is now where I'm purchasing my books. And next month, I actually already filmed my Disney page for next month. So it is a page from Mickey Donald and Company. If you have that book and want to color along, or if you've been on the fence and want to make a purchase, that's uh, up to you. But I'm very excited. It's a page from Mickey's Christmas Carol. So... That will be a lot of fun, but here we go. So that's it. Hopefully right now I am looking at some fish in the aquarium while you're watching this, unless you're watching at night and then hopefully I'm home and eating snacks and having a nap. So, <laughs> But thank you so much. If you made it to the end, let's say Sebastian, our favorite little mermaid crab. And that's it. Uh, like this video. If you liked it, comment anything you want to comment down below, including the secret word Sebastian. Um, subscribe. I'm a fun time and I'll be back again in two days with something new. Bye friends.